Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Fears to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout, which is the fourth game in the Fears to Fathom series, each one being a standalone horror story that are supposedly based off of true stories, or at least stories people claim are true. And in this latest entry, we play a Firewatch Lookout that quickly discovers we are not alone in these woods. Hey, I noticed you're requesting story submissions while watching a YouTuber play Fear the Phantom Carson House. I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I am writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself, with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived down my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Okay, <laughs> I didn't really add driving mechanics to the one game. Now we have them again. Nice, nice. Oops, oh, I'm going to leave her lane. Okay, let's check our messages. Congratulations on the transfer, feeling ready for change. Just reason to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mick, by the way, from Iron Bar. Thank you, heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just come on ID today. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can you? Can I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoyed the thrill, or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are, only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. Oh, we'll probably leave without notice. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. And I'm sure I adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good, I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're on Friday, just park your truck around the back on the gravel park by Gate D. Got it. From there you'll be on foot, take the Gold Creek Trail. Then it'll take you a couple hours until you reach the tower. Okay, got it, thanks. See Billy at the gate, just show me your ID. Now they claim this music was uh, not copyrighted, but we'll see. Sometimes, sometimes that doesn't work out. Kayla. New general manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. Smiley face. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure join you next season. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change, there's my ID. Ironbark? They're staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire me today out of all days. Isn't late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. It's past Roseburg yet. No, why? Okay, I can't do that. Wait, I can get up? <laughs> just, let me just park in the middle of the road. I don't think they'll do it. But I wish there was like a, a faith kind of easter egg where just you park in the middle and you step out. Just, Truck goes out of nowhere. Oh, I see what year this takes place in. Alright, cool. Now, can I leave? No. Wait, no I can. I can step out. Alright. 
How's it going? My chat again. She never come home. She never will feel me again. I cannot differentiate your day since 2016. And it just pays me, babe. I hate to see that you miss me because the weather's cold. And I'm knowing life is fast. That was a very solitary you know life. You, but I'm always on my ass. Fuck it though. When you're up, I'm feeling down. And when you're round, I'm it helps down. quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay. Ah, you mean the monsters. Yeah, you know I got you, but I'm on my way to dirt. Yeah, funny how those monsters always can you bring. Oh, there is a truck. All right, you know what we're doing. I wasn't very proud of my driving. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We start moving again. You will. Hmm. I'm gonna restart. No, no, I can't. I've always loved the great outdoors. Uh, love ultras. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. More text messages. Caught. I'm trying to drive! I remember there's a steiner while passing Roseburg. They had the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the stabbing starts. Thanks, Kay. There's gonna be two types of players, and you can almost make a clip of it. Two types of players that'll play this game. Ones that will drive completely normal and down the road, and the others that'll ram their damn thing into the first truck they see. Two kinds. And then you have me. That's got also rammed into this house. Whoa, I just drifted. Damn, that was a that was a good drift. Also, I'm just kinda stuck. I'm pretty sure I just ran over some people. I'm in the mood I am a menace to society. I've got it officially stuck. On a rock, it's on a rocky lodge into the pool. The thing went flying from the impact. So I'm gonna end this. Do it! That's disappointing. Hmm. I got, I got, I got, we're good. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Do I stop? Yeah, we'll pull in. You park it. So, when you got a big boy like this... Cause I've driven like big trucks and other things before. Uh, not so much an RV, but it's a, it's similar but a little different logic because you're a little more blocky. You um, you don't ram it on that for one. Usually you would take up all those parking spaces over there. Or you just like find a corner or something park. You do a little better parking job than that. You, you'd kind of get lined up to right there, but that also works. Hey, buddy. You enjoying that burger? How's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark State Park. Was I heard the news then? What news? A few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else. There's a rumor going around that a creature got him. A creature? It's the creature man. Yeah, you know, like, 
Bigfoot or a goat man? People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Well, there's always a first for someone coming back, and that's gonna be me. Or not. My soul. Alright, let's go in. Boy, you are worshipping that meal. You are chugging that invisible drink. Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. This man, this man is in heaven. Nope, can't steal that. What you got here, buddy? A sh rusty shovel. A uh, sack, and... Yeah, that's a little random. How's the food? You just stared at me. Do you mind if I join you? Pretty long day at work, huh? Friendliest fella. Yoink. Please leave me alone. No. So you look a little lost. Just passing through. So where are you headed? Start my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, oh, that's great. Didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? Work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. You like a job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. Keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate when I do. Just turn off the music. What's this? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Ironbark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Possibly. Can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. I am just owning up this diner. Please take a seat, I'll be right with you. Do you want me to the restroom? That's right there. It's right over there. Thank you. Oh my god. Hey, wait, aim, 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 aim. You gotta leave your mark. Search dominance. So you dry your hands first, right? That shows the Germans you mean business. Then you wash. Like, now, now, now the germs are like, they're fully done. They're down for the count. You've just washed your hands. You've already dried them out a bit. Then you dry them again. That goes full scorched earth on them. Alright. Pretty good. Have I sit with you, buddy? Guess not. Uh, where would I like to sit? Somewhere I can view the entrance. In case everyone's coming after me. You can never be too careful, you know. You have a little interesting past. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger fries, grilled cheese, meatball sub of chicken nuggets. Hmm. I'm not feeling fries tonight. I'm not I'm not really feeling that. Grilled cheese is kinda satisfying, but I'm not really feeling those onion rings. That's gonna like it's gonna hit you pretty hard once you arrive at the actual camp. So I'm gonna go with the meatball sub of chicken nuggets. I, my ideal situation would be cheeseburger. With a grilled cheese. 
Just, just stick with me on this, but... Very well. Would you like anything to drink? Coffee. Wait, no. Strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? That would be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring this food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. My standard dino order, though, is, uh, just a time of day. You can't go wrong with, like, a burger and, like, a malt milkshake or something. Coffee, you know, if you need it. But I also like country fried steak. That's usually pretty satisfying. Country fried steak with, uh, over-easy eggs. Maybe, like, some hash browns or, hash, you know, hash or something like that. And then, uh, I like a little bit of Tabasco sauce and, like, throwing over everything. Kind of works well with the eggs and everything else. Thank you. Well, you weren't kidding about the order. It's actually accurate. They actually, like, like bombed us. Alright. Slurpee. Here's my logic. You're not going to be drinking Slurpees out there for a while. But you will be drinking coffee, so I gotta get my fix now. With the nugs. Kayla, I'm trying to eat. God. How did I end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Told you. Hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you're talking about. Might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine and the new lookout. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Hold on, me text. Well, never mind. Would you like to have something, anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. You should have had a coffee. Gotta have a post-coffee meal. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Here's a check. Your total is 760. 50% tip. Sure. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. Well, 50% of 760. Well, no, actually, I'm trying to remember the prices around this time because I I saw, I saw the the year it was on the paper. So. Hmm. That one guy's gone. Curious. So 760 would not necessarily be a cheap meal. Because you, you were getting full meals for like $3 back then. I guess because of the slushy and some of the things. Because you got the chicken nuggets on top of it. Kind of added up. Where you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Okay, let's get out of here. Did I leave this open? Yeah, I probably did. Alright, let's get out of here. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Good luck, everybody else! Yeah, can you find steak, classic cheeseburger, grilled onions and grilled mushrooms. Well, sometimes, you know, just bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs and hash browns, that's satisfying enough. It just depends on your mood at the time. I want to include the location of this park. I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Okay. So that's how you know the story's fake, because you said there's other horrors in the woods. Now, I'm, I might park in here, because that kind of looks like the lookout.
Because here's why, if the story was real, instead of saying like, oh, don't go out there, there's other horrors, you'd be like, oh yeah, totally go out there. More sacrifices for the blood god, you know what I'm saying? Arnberg State Park, welcome. Alright. I did a really bad parking job, but it's whatever. Yeah. Missing kids. Please don't litter. Do not block gate. Whoa, little person, and you you were about to cut me down with that damn double barrel. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. This is not the first time someone has warned me that they almost shot me. What do you mean? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm a new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? Didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. There's a person walking behind you, by the way. Do you see that? There's a worse than walking behind you. Let me check on that. I mean, it is a park, though. Like, people are allowed to walk around here. Hold up. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You stay after Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season, but here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Alright. Since you arrive in this lake, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. We didn't bring our own flashlight. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now for our purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first web report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. You'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Hey! Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. No, the bears are... Yeah, don't mess with the bears. Nasty business. You got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. No bikes, only horses stay on trail. Left my bag in the RV at first. The game's calling me out! Can I carry both? Okay, let's go. Eleven thirty two PM. It was long hiking, it was starting to get cold now. Tower 11, frequency... Let's remember this. Alright. What's going on over here?
Hmm. Take note of everything. It might come up later. Tower 11. Gold Creek Trail. Lacey Trail. Living the fire tower is not a glamorous job. This is why you get that slash slush sheet. You ain't gonna see one for a while. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Tilly Shack. I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Door was open. Generator. Alright, we got some power going on here. That's gonna be loud as hell. Not in game, but in real life. Okay. My hands were full. Yeah, there's never a flashlight right there. So, let me, um, go up first. I send the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires and anything out of the ordinary. There's the Ever Tower. Let's look over here real quick. Do you all see anything out of the ordinary that I'm not seeing? Because this series does like hiding people in like the corner of your eye. The is filled with the aroma of wood, giving a sense of comfort. I just found my new home for the next few months. Gas. Microwave. Oh wow, everything's interactable. It's food. Oven. It's nice for some apartments. Only you can prevent forest fires. Ironbark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Okay. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Ironbark 11. Refill the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. <laughs> Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Chris Comp Support. Call John. Send foes to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow 2 p.m. Ask for extra supplies next week. Wow. This is like involved. No, nah, no music. I like the atmosphere of the woods. What else can I do around here? I'm sorry, Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. Use the spot fire on the map. Is that bear maze? Yeah, it's bear maze. Take note of that also. I cannot pick up the axe, so... Hmm. Okay. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Multicolor dial research. Rainbow 98. Professional edition, oh. Alright, locking in. Okay. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer day. Can I put you in the trash bin? Clickety-click! Here's a random fact for you. 
Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are only a few thousand years old and still perfectly edible. Clickety click. Here's our item factory. The Grand Canyon. Yeah. No. 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 Ploy training. Welcome to Iron Bark MP4. State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. That's what's his name voicing this, isn't he? This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Yeah, I don't want those fires Keep freaking and driving. Of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. That happens will not very often. always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Gun. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Okay, I think I'm ready. Cats. Oh, how many, how many things are on this computer? It's just cats. It's, it's still just cats. This is what Lovecraft sees whenever he sees a black cat. Meow. I feel like these would be more like if this was this era, it'd be more like quick time files. Uh, real player files, wherever they were. Hi, everyone. ABI. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it you is. You can't do this to Bob Ross, man. Brush. 
This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Damn. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Planning review. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? I think they do. They use water. Fascinating. What do you do for a living? You know, just spread my roots. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can't leave any how stone unturned. Work? Oh, you wow. know, you just kind of like bury yourself in dirt. Just, just hanging around, just sitting Everyone's around. Been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Oh, she's dead. Yeah, aphids. Sir! Sir, there's no need for that language. Aphids? Sir, calm down. Oh, uh, is there a problem what I say aphids? Just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. But maybe you shouldn't what be a damn bug. Did you just say? Yeah. Get Call your here, bug. You piece of shit. Then that plant murdered everybody. Here's the trail map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the cover of your screen, I'm here to help. Okay. Alright, tower. Old radio tower. So, assuming we came in kind of right here. Crossed over. Split. There. Right? If I'm reading this correctly. Service reporting. Measure weather conditions to provide equipment and lock act. Hmm. New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. You're watching. Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. He sounds kind of like, at least, especially with like the, the the static kind of over it. It sounds like uh. Rusty, the new Armored Core game. How you doing that tower, buddy? Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. But your name is Connor Hawkins. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks, buddy. Okay. In like wood? Do we have to like bring it from downstairs? Let's take a look. It gets kinda dark, I break in my flashlight. I have a report for tonight. Well, well, we'll do that in a bit. Let's get my thing lit. No, I cannot go down. Alright. And then... Only you can prevent forest fires. Yep, that's a good job. Anyway, let's... Temperature is 45... 7... Do I gotta do these man things manually? Oh my god. This is actual work. You bastards are making me actually work! Okay, what's the wind speed? 18 knots. Uh, 
Okay. More of a condition. It's kind of cloudy, I guess. Yeah, it's cloudy. Zero. Ported by Jack. Oh, apparently that's not the right river condition. Wind. Clear? Okay, so it's considered clear. Iron Bark Foresty Service. Jack, Lone Free 2. 18, clear. Okay. Connor Hawkins, yeah. It's legit. Okay. Help. Current package version. What's this? Oh, we have games! Whoa! Wait, 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 there's a lot of them. Never mind. I think I'm scared of you. I have 20,000 DPI in this mouse. I'm not afraid to use it. Slide us, Twitch. Anyway, let's get out of here. No, not yet. Alright, buddy. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? I thought I was going crazy. I think we can finally go down. I'm like, there's no firewood. I keep trying to go down, but you get an invisible wall here. Okay. You're playing wood right here. Matches, more supplies. Alright. Did it, uh... Yeah, there we go. That's doused. There we go. Ah, Job well done. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Yeah, I did. Did you report for the night yet? Yeah, it's done. Very well. Anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay, Connor. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Hold on. 
Totally done, right? Let's see. Lights out after 12 p.m. Well, we're not there yet. You feel the generator. Update the reporting software. Yeah, that's about it. Slides out because you gotta conserve power too. 3:26 a.m. What? This can't be happening. Connor. And a P. Of course. Yeah, which is the lights on a little bit. I mean. I have to have the lights on. My flashlight's kind of dark. The first night being out of the cabin gave me a strange feeling. Wait, I can just go right off the edge. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. Is that guy right over there? See, see where my pee's pointing at? Right there, right? Near the tree. Right there, there's a dude. Right there. Give me my binoculars. Close that back down. Hey, hey, hey! I'm pretty sure that's the guy we saw at the diner. Head shape's kind of similar. Night two. Mm, just you in the wind and time just melts away. Probably be getting plenty of coffee out here. It's nice out here. Wait for it. Good coffee. I'm not sure how much coffee's left, but we've really gone through it. Oh. I threw it off the tower. <laughs> yeah, like, the game the game is keeping track of things. It knew. It knew. Now what do I do? Poke around, maybe take a walk. Yeah, what's up, Connor? This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Yeah, I copy. Technically, you can't hear me unless I go over here. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Now you see a guy out there? Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. All right, there's some binoculars. Yep, I see it right there. It was white in the cave of a campfire. Yeah, if they were burning bodies, would be a different color. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Nope. The fire risks are high this season. Sometimes they just murder you, too. Am I checking it out? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. 
Over and out. Buddy. Bear spray. Alright. And I think I'm gonna need some matches. No, my hands are full. I guess one's a left hand and one's a right hand. Should I take that? Do this, take that. No, that's a right hander. Oh, I mean, it's bright enough today. I don't need my flashlight. What are the chances it'll get dark on the way back? Okay, Lazy Trail. I do not remember my map. But I do remember the thing was kind of vaguely towards this way. So if we head this way, we'll eventually get there. That was the wrong trail. Don't call me out, game. Don't do that. Bear. Ah, I see. It's not true, like, hard walk. Hmm. Oh, that trailer lit to the smoke. Well, gee willikers! Someone's screaming. Sure wish I had my flashlight right now. Oh, someone loves Jen. We're just flooding over stuff. Beautiful my tower. Things supposed to be on my track tonight. Any money? Then I take still the flashlight. I hear someone whistling. I mean, I'm not really sure what's going on. I had to put it out. That's it. Not my problem. Nine oh seven PM. As I hiked back to my tower for the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. I might can help but think what might have happened. Okay, they, they stick us right back to the tower. See, we didn't even know flashlight. Do need to make sure that generator is nice and capped off, though. Is that me whistling? Like, it's, I still hear it. Maybe I don't actually have to do that. Maybe that's like a overcompensating. Someone keeps damn whistling. Report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Tower 12, do you copy? 
Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Yep, everyone's dead. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. They do, but that wasn't a red fox scream I would know I have in my backyard. It was a manly badass hero scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. The whistle? People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes... I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. That's unsettling. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do oh, you? absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Huh. I'm pretty sure I still hear whistling. Oh yeah, we need wood. Yeah, we, we get no signal in this tower. Take this with me. Well, no, I can't carry the wood. With, I have to use two hands to carry the wood. Dang it. You need like a holster, my buddy. Doesn't really do anything. Um, okay, reporting in. Got a 21 knots. Oops. Alright. And then, can I? No, I have to read it over. 50.2 All right Didn't save it Well, I think it was 21 Zero Okay I am not assisting any hikers Okay, things are updated. Connor earlier. It's only 9 o'clock. Uh, I mean, that's about it. Oh yeah, I gotta eat. Apparently, I, I, I am a person that needs to eat the things. Okay. So. Yeah, what else we got here? I'm not sure what that went in. My hands are full. I don't know. I'm just throwing that on there. So the recipe is pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Okay. 
diced tomatoes. We have like canned tomatoes here. Yeah. And then pick a 420. I don't think they have they're gonna get the nuance, the temperature. I think that's just it. Goodbye, eggs! New guy. You there? Yeah, what's up, buddy? New guy. You copy? I'm right here, buddy. Connor? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What do they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. All right. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. Oh, yeah. I like eating in bed. Just, <laughs> just eat this whole... Just, just manhandle this freshly hot baked casserole. Mmm, this is this is a bed snack. Just dab in my face in there, yeah. Mm, yeah. I was already full. Alright. We're good. I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Really. Maybe a slob game. Yeah, I gotta close the boards. Get one down. Two. There's no one staring at us out there. Stay. I guess we're done. All right. Turn the lights off. Go to bed. Oh, I guess we missed one. Oops. I was wondering if that... Yeah. Oops. Two twenty-seven a.m. Oh my god, we're gonna have to pee off... I was walking by the same thing caused my eyes drift open. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Bear mace. Bear mace. Bear mace. Something very strange about that night. That bear mace did not do anything. Yeah, if you actually look at the shadow, it's like devil horns. I'm in here. I got bear mace. That apparently is not effective. Give me the damn axe. Give me the damn axe. What if we leave the tower? No, he left the tower. I don't know what to make of it at the moment. I want your finger finger was to contact Connor. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Wait until morning. That's in the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these kids are messing around. Watch too many horror movies. Maybe they 
thought it would be funny. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Do not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if Connor is here. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Good night, Connor. Over. Connor didn't make any sense. Sus. There's not much, I could, not much else I could have done in the dark. Just go back to sleep rather than hide. Night triple. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. I tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34pm. Wow, this is a big skip. Occupy most of my days either with simple maintenance in and around the tower. And you gotta clean these things. I scan the dens densities of trees all around me. The paranoid fluids only grew after last night, which... What the... It's a flare! Connor. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Hiker, take a deep breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Someone could still be listening in on this, so... Red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. You just saw the flare go off. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Small stream, yeah. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I accidentally clicked. It's apparently right click also clicks. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you reach the trailhead safely. I'm right here! What? What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, that took you so long to- What took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I asked to check in on you. What are you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the god be merciful. Anyway, it's got your tower supplies here and just the usual essentials. Here you go. If I'm gonna pass out, I keep holding this for one more second. Take supplies. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why are we there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. There's no stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. I would mention you'd be quite a distance from hell if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? 
Mention the skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. Where are you going now? Just keep watch. Fix the supplies. I threw it off the tower. Supplies were a trap anyway. Twenty-six. Forty-four point six. I maybe you should have not thrown off the tower. I was too hungry. Grab a cook. I notice we still have the hide option. Threw it off the tower. Okay, let's get some wood. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. But I say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reaches the right places, wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire signings. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. No amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled. No matter how hard we try. And sometimes disaster is just never form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. I didn't mention my name. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. This guy gave out the creepiest vibes. He's down while I have a chance.
Oh yeah, I never got the wood. Let me drop it. So hundred percent that guy is the one as we've been seeing. It's literally the same model. I'm in here. Are you gonna come and murder me, buddy? You copy now. This is Jack. Finally, I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran to silence downstairs. Ran into who? Nearby radio tower worker. Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? Bed. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out. Gotta get some good rest if you don't want to die. My knees were starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of an environment that I needed getting used to. The strangest I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. You guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. How do I update how do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks, I got it. Okay. Oh, damn. Update for Rainbow Package Code four three four six zero eight four. Damn. Got one. Damn, you made everything green. Oh man. Get up, 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 get up. Power's out. Flashlight. Bear mace is okay too. Is this bear mace ever gonna come into play? Or are like cultists like unbear mace of it? Generate right now gas. I got drenched in the rain. 
Was there an umbrella I didn't know about? Or raincoat? Advanced technique. We don't have a holster. You always gotta keep your bear mace nearby. Okay. Turn it back on. It's getting cold and I had to pee. See in here. Hey, wait a minute. Why is the mic thing on? Oh. Because I could fear it could hide there later if he comes and attacks. Oh man, that is suspicious as hell. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I had to do was check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. Is that a cultist? I know it's late. Be right there, buddy. Jack, you copy. Why are you still up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Hmm. Hold up a sec. Hey, not that one. You know what? What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Did I just see something in my window? If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Bear mace. Damn it. No. Uh, buddy! I didn't know what to make of it. That is... I don't know if that makes sense to Temples to take evidence of it. There it is. Do we have a camera? Like, I haven't really... S I don't think I've seen one around. I mean, there's this. Yeah, it, we just have one on us. <gasps> They're scattering like rats. Quick, barricade. What up here? No, you could. Okay. One's coming. Get up an axe and just funnel them bastards.
gonna sneak out. He totally did not hear that. Huh? Run! Bear may speak behind me. Huh? Bear mace does crap. Yeah, so it's a scripted thing. I wonder if our friend is evil. It was locked. No, so do not cross. Go, 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 go. As adrenaline kicked in, I had the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I reared in an alert to HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here. Mitch answered. Next morning, a 40s allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, it met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick it to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set, foot in, set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Do not go camping near the borders. So, that's it for Fears the Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. So, I think, so far all these games have been good horror games. The one part I think that's weakening a bit is the, uh, the true story aspect. The first one is the only one I feel like... Some of them had some grounded aspects, but, uh, notably the one game had the, uh, the weird laundry machine scene, I think. I think that, I think that was a series. Um, and the other one had the coffee machine that drugged the person. Obviously, these stories are probably embellished for gameplay. I'd be very curious if there was a original copy of these stories to see kind of like how things were adapted. I feel like that'd be a little interesting. But the the first one's the most simple, and I think that's the most straightforward kind of home invasion horror. 
And then the other ones have dealt a little bit more of like strangers and things traveling. This one's a little more unique. This is the one I think, this is the most more out there ones because you're dealing with like a weird satanic cult kind of thing. Not that weird murderous satanic cults or weird things on the woods don't exist. My dad has met them before. I mean, he's met the Manson family and all sorts of people. So like, that's not the point. It's just more of, um, it's a little less relatable this time. It's good as a horror game. And it, the, the Firewatch, the, uh, the lookout kind of guy in the woods, that is actually a surprisingly common video game horror trope now. Because you're isolated, it's kind of dark around there. If something goes wrong, you know, you might be on your own. Although I think in the real world, usually people who take these jobs, like park rangers or things, usually these people are pretty good at defending themselves. So I, I don't think that cultists would have as easy of time taking down our pro tag. I think we'd be pretty prepared. Because, I mean, unless that person's got a gun, like, just you having the high ground on those stairs alone of an axe, because there was one in there, um, and you're assumingly in good shape if you're taking this job, you, you can. he's probably not getting past you. But yeah, once again, it's a very immersive series, as far as like the actual gameplay aspect and the kind of methodicalness of things. It is in that same realm of the busybody work horror, which is, once again, you do something methodical. Usually a job, maybe you're a worker at a convenience store or something like that, and it's kind of slow paced. And it's just little small things off, and then you get the payoff at the end. But I think Fears of Fathom is one of the better, if not best, ones in the whole kind of league of these type of horror games. And I think that still stands true. They're, they're executed pretty well. I especially like the detail of like the computer. Like they, they went off full bore, like the amount of little things you can interact with. And I actually do appreciate that. I feel like that adds a little more to your game. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching play Fierce the Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.